and welcome to another movie review. As always, I am Kelly, and I just got out of Black Christmas. Oh my god, what the fuck was this movie even thinking? I mean, this was bad. Not just bad, this was... This was offensive in a lot of ways, but it was also kind of marvelous because it thinks it true. This movie truly gives off the opinion that this movie thinks it's saying something grand and amazing without realizing that it's basically dipping into everything that it hates. Some people I talked to were genuinely surprised that I had such a negative reaction to Charlie's Angels, but when I said it wasn't so bad it's going to make my worst list, it genuinely surprised them. Well, the reason it didn't make my worst list is because I've seen shit like this. This is basically the equivalent of the feminist God's Not Dead. Extremely ignorant, extremely hateful, doesn't understand what it's talking about, falls into the stereotypes it's trying to, you know, go against and ultimately just a waste of everybody's time. Oh, and to add insult to injury, this is a remake of a horror classic. So, you know, there's that too. Full disclosure, I've never seen the original horror classic. The most I've seen are a couple of reviews by it, and I can see why people like it. Personally, I probably won't ever watch it. It's a 70s horror film that isn't really high on to my buy or watch list, so take that for what it is. I'm just gonna review this movie as a movie, and Ugh. This movie is written like it's a freaking comedy, but where everyone on board was told this is 100% the most impactful political message you could possibly send. Dear God, their, little, their literal bad guys are a cult of frat boys who are worshipping black magic statues of a misogynistic asshole from the 17th century who is trying to brainwash an army of people so they can go to government and change laws so that women can never rise to power and take the power from the men? Are you fucking kidding me with this bullshit? No, I don't care that I'm not in the spoiler section because this plot is asinine. And it's played 100% serious, with basically every time a woman stands up to one of these evil, oppressive men, framed as it the most badass, awesome thing that a woman could do. It's just... God damn. I thought it was hard to talk about Charlie's Angels without coming off like an asshole. This, though, I... But yeah, uh, let's just uh, go into it, because uh, this made my worst list. Uh, one of my last entries on that list. Yeah, um, and it made it pretty high, too, so... You know, I was gonna say start off with the good, but I can't really think of anything good inside of this, so... Let's just start off deconstructing this train wreck of a movie. <laughs> the original's plot is essentially just a group of sorority girls who are being, uh, haunted by a killer who seems to know where they are and is picking them off one by one. Turns out he's hiding in the house, and they never actually do catch this killer, though they do catch a bad person. And some of their friends' bodies are even never discovered. They're just left to sit there and rot, staring out a window that, if only were a little bit cleaner, someone might notice them. Fuck that. This movie is about a bunch of sorority girls who piss off a frat, who, of course, are full of monstrous white boy pretty boy rapists because heaven forbid that they even have one black person inside of this group no 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 the one black person is actually the good guy my mistake and of course this frat group who are totally not the bad guys because they try to make it some big twist near the second act where it's like oh it was the frat guys the entire time you mean those people that we went on to into their building and sung a big ash hole song about how they're all rapists yeah, you know, this movie at one point starts actually throwing up the arguments that these girls do kind of bring on retaliation. Now, I'm not saying they deserve any of this. I'm not going to go into that fucking argument. However, I am going to say that they're as much assholes in this situation as the guys are. Especially since, you know, they're calling everybody a rapist without actually knowing half of them. Yes, there have one confirmed rapist inside of there. That doesn't mean the entire group is them. It means the one is. 
Oh, what am I talking about? These are evil cultist people who use black magic to use turn people into a zombie army to fight for men's rights. I'm sorry, I completely forgot about that plot point you drop later in this movie. And it really is apropos that this is basically just the feminist God's Not Dead, because they bring up all of the counter arguments to pretty much everything they're saying and brush them off like, you're just wrong and ignorant. You don't understand. Could it be that maybe you're so far up your own ass that you can't see the other side's opinion? Or maybe see how especially the activist girl might be, you know, screwing everything up? Just just saying. Of course, she and the only other survivor are the main character. The other ones who actually seem like they had some semblance of brains or at least likable personalities, they're the ones that die. Because they were stupid. They didn't see the warnings. And truth be told, this isn't necessarily a bad update to the idea of Black Christmas. Because, you know, frat culture is a problem. You know, it does inspire a lot of gray areas that people dip into on purpose so they can get away with some nasty shit. I am not going to say that that isn't a thing. However, instead of actually dealing with frat culture, you instead call them all cultist rapists who are using black magic to try to oppress women forever. Like, what the fuck are you doing? This is a parody plot. This is what you want to do if you are just going balls to the walls, comedic, you know, throwing everything at the wall. This plot belongs in basically a Blazing Saddles type movie, where it knows what it's doing. It's very aware of what it's doing, it just doesn't give a shit. However, this movie does give a shit. It is played 100% serious. It is played as if this is actually what it's like in these college campus areas. And I'm sorry, I'm in college. I've never been a part of a frat and I don't know anyone if there's even a frat down here or even sororities down here in St. George. But I can tell you this, I, people don't act like this. I mean, hell, even going back to the God's Not Dead comparison, you have Carrie Elways in this movie playing a evil teacher so blatantly evil that I swear that he is literally having wine at the party that freaking Kevin Sorbo is hosting. <laughs> and he's pulling a lot of the same crap that Kevin Sorbo pulled inside of God's Not Dead. He's calling on the students, singling them out, forcing them into all these different opinions and things. He's not even calling out the activist girl who's pissing him off. He's calling out her friend who accused one of these kids of rape, who is the only confirmed rapist in this whole fucking movie. I mean, dear God, why does this guy still have a job? Just, just, just why? At the very least, Kevin Sorbo had some semblance of cloud and graded area that he could go with. He was a philosophy teacher. He's meant to spark discussions like this. Granted, you know, what he pulls in God's Not Dead is so far off the rails that any kind of school board should have kicked his ass out of the college immediately, but at least he had a reason for this. But Carrie Elways, he's just talking about literary classics, so I assume that he's some kind of lit teacher, yet he's actively singling out people pissing them off and pulling shit like this. How does he have a job? Oh, that's because male academia is just holding their grips together and they're trying to keep all women bound and crap. You realize you're using the same arguments that came out of fucking Catwoman, right? You know what, let's, let's just throw the politics shit aside and let's just call this what it is. It's a PG-13 horror flick that has no balls whatsoever. The scariest thing they could come up with are a bunch of frat dudes inside of hoods with ugly masks and using bow and arrows. Because heaven forbid that they use, I don't know, a sword? No, no, using a sword, you know, being a phallic object and whatnot, people might not be able to take this seriously. And again, I'm not against an idea that's trying to push a feminist message. I come from an anime background where this isn't as a rare of a thing as can be seen by all my things over here. I can get on board with stuff like this if it's actually done right and not done like a goddamn parody of something that honestly I think most people are smart enough to realize is shit. The message is horrible. The plot is absurd. 
everybody is bad in this movie. There is not a good performance pretty much from the bunch. The ones that are actually tolerable die off. The ones that are insufferable live. And the song at the very beginning where they piss off this frat, I'm just, I'm just sitting there. You realize that you're dressing up in a skimpy outfit and rubbing your asses in front of them, right? While singing how they're rapists and they don't know the line of consent. Is there supposed to be a joke there? Because it seems like to me that you don't understand what you're doing. Just as much as they don't understand the line of consent. Oh, and making the lead inside of this movie, the rape victim, you know, pushing her to sing this in the lead because it'll help her doesn't make that activist seem like an asshole in any way, shape, or form. And I'm pretty sure that there's plenty of, you know, actual medical professionals that'll tell you that your friend is a fucking bad influence and you need to get rid of them now. This movie is inept. The horror is all PG-13 schlock. There's barely any blood, and when there is, it's the black goo crap that comes from this evil statue bust that's giving all of these evil frat men cultist power and crap. It's so stupid! Maybe if this was actually rated R and had some balls to actually go with things, again, use a sword so that they can actually push, you know, some of their general, you know, stupid ideas on a much more subtle level and they might actually have had at least a good B-movie type thing here, but no, no, this was meant to be a political message. This was meant to be taken 100% seriously and we are all horrible, horrible people for doing this. Well, I guess I'm a horrible person because my final verdict on this one is fuck it. This is garbage. Hateful, insulting garbage that does not respect anybody's time and honestly just comes off as ignorant of what it's trying to preach. I'll give this the same thing that I gave Charlie's Angels. This is the type of movie that makes studio execs and everybody else who actually runs and makes these movies pause about actually putting a female in the lead because they're not going to sell movies. I doubt this movie made any of its money back and honestly Blumhouse you should be ashamed that you greenlit this. This requires a full rework. Like, I couldn't see, like, a small change here or there. No, you have to rework this entire fucking project to have anything salvageable here. And I don't know why you didn't see that before you put out the message about the evil cult of frat boys using black magic to change laws to oppress women forever. Fuck this movie. And that's it for me. Did you enjoy the video? Have you seen Plight Christmas? Uh, tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below. Let's get some healthy discussion going. Honestly, there might be a funny, you know, hilariosity type review that you could do with this. Like, just hilariously bagging on it MST3K style might actually be fun. So, maybe you could get some enjoyment out of it if you did something like that. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And as always, if you like receive, hit the like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. All those things help my channel grow to hopefully one day I can start making money doing this. Also, I've been streaming pretty consistently on Thursdays at 11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And yeah, that's it for me. So I guess I'll see you all next time in my top 10 best and top 11 worst list because that's what's up next on my editing docket.